Hi everyone, this is a quick video to demonstrate how to find a least squares regression line using a Casio FX82 calculator. This is my emulator here. So this is my data set for the X and the Y values. These are the formulae from my formula sheet that I have access to, uh, to show my working. Now, I'm not going to use the deviations, uh, even though that's conceptually the, uh, the idea behind the slope of the least squares line. I'm going to use this part of the formula, which is the correlation coefficient, by the standard deviation in the y variables over the standard deviation in the x's. These are sample standard deviations. Note the use of s, not sigma. So I press the mode key, and I go number 2 for stats, and a plus bx was the uh, format I need, so I can enter some data. So here I go. Uh, x value is 2, then 4, then 5. 7, 8, move across to the right, back to the top, y value is 32, 33, 28, 23 and 21. All the data's there, frequencies are 1, to, uh, hit the all clear button to get back to the computation screen, then shift and number 1 key which gets me to the stat menu. Uh, I want the number 5 option, the regression. Now I know I could just press A and B, but the question says show working. So instead I'll ask for the correlation coefficient here, 3, which is negative, so this is where I'll show my working, 0 0.933 times, and I need to have some more stats. So shift, stat menu, this time go to uh, variance, number 4, uh, here I find SY, now be careful you don't pick sigma, which is the population standard deviation, we want sample S, so number 7 and always press equals after. There it is. So the value for SY is 5.320 if I round properly to three decimal places. Same place again, back to stats, number four, and SX is also number four. It is 2.3 equals. Now, I could be a bit sneaky. I could just go to the regression and I could ask for the value of B, the gradient. There's the gradient, negative 2. I suppose I should also demonstrate that this works. Negative 0.933 times 5.32. divided by 2.387. And it's the same number we had there a moment ago. So the gradient of this regression line is negative 2.079. So there's the stats menu on the calculator is still very useful. Uh, and instead of doing the big giant computational, it's, sorry, the conceptual formula, which is a pain, you can use this version here. And these numbers come from the calculator. It's still showing working. I think it still qualifies for showing working. Now, if I want the value of A, here we go, A equals, there's the formula, the mean of the y's minus b times the mean of the x's. Uh, so the mean of the y's from the stat menu, once again go number 4, the mean of the y's is 27.4 minus, and the value of b is the number we just had there, 2. 079 times the mean of the x's 
the mean of the x is key number 2 is 5.2. And so 27.4, now minus a negative is the same as plus, 2.079 times 5.2, 38 point two one, two one one if I round, and I'll just make that look a little neater. And that's it. Uh, the only slight improvement, I suppose, I was a bit quick, would have been to write this formula here before I then did the substitutions. So if I was if I was wanting to be perfect, and let's face it, we all want to be as good as we can be, I should have written y bar minus b times x bar here. So see if I can remember how to do that minus b times x bar. So there's the formula. Uh, should have had it there first, I suppose. And there's the working, and there's the answer. I'll just make it... Why wouldn't it line up for me? See if I can get that to line up neatly. There it is. It's not as good as I hope, but look, it's close enough. So there's your um, gradient b, there's this, and of course your regression line, uh, which is of the form y equals a plus b times x. Our regression line is then y equals the value of a, 38.211, uh, plus negative is the same as minus 2.079x. There's my regression formula for this data. If I were to draw a scatter chart of this data and then put a best fit line, this would be the equation of the line. That's it for now.